and welcome. My name is Faisal from uh, Phoenix Academy. Now, in the continuation of this uh, tutorial lecture series, Data Analysis for Cybersecurity, in this lecture, we are going to learn about uh, uh, Fundus Basics. So we are going to start learning about how to make use of this uh, powerful uh, uh, Fundus uh, Data Analysis Library to see how we can analyze our data. Okay, so I am going to make use of a uh, Kali Linux operating system. So this is a Kali Linux operating system and the I IDE I'm going to use that is integrated development environment I'm going to use is PyCharm. So this is a PyCharm and then I'm going to make use of the, I'm going to run the uh, Python script eventually from the this uh, particular terminal. All right, so uh, you uh, once you are on your IDE, the first thing you are going to do, you are going to create a project. So all you have to do, you come here, uh, file new project. So we are going to create a new project. All right. Okay. So let's uh name this our project. Uh, for example, all right. Uh, uh let's name this project as uh, uh okay, all, right, all right. All right. Let's name it as test. As test. All right. So test. All right, and I'm going to make use of Python 3.7, uh, latest Python version 3.7. All right, uh, Python 3.7. So, uh, so this is the uh, absolute path to the uh, script on a root folder. Uh, the root from and the desktop is a root folder, and then on the desktop I have a particular particular directory Python, and then that is where my project is housed. Test. All right. So I'll just uh, click on this create button, and then. I'm uh, all right on a new window. All right, new window. So the uh, PyCharm IDE will go ahead and create the project for me. All right. So uh, the project has eventually been created. Now the uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a Python file. I'm going to create a Python file. So all I have to do, I'll just come and uh, come here over my project that has been created. Test. I'll right click. Right click on it. All right, then I'll select new, then I'll come to Python file. And then I'll write the name of the uh, script that I'm going to create. Okay, so let's give uh, the name of this script as basics. All right, basics. So it's, uh, and I don't need to type the dot py extension eventually since uh, the kind has been specified as Python file. So it's going to be uh, created for me with basic.py extension. All right, so all I have to do is to click on this create button. All right, so the uh, file has already been created for me. So all I have to do is to go ahead and start typing my uh, my code. All right. All right, so I can uh, increase the, I can zoom in by I press control button and then I uh, uh, click uh, and scroll my my mouse uh, my mouse scroll button. All right, I can zoom in. I can zoom out. All right. So uh, the first thing that we are going to write is uh, shebang. Shebang is always uh, useful to write to uh, to write this shebang while writing our Python uh, script. So this is called a shebang. Shebang, all right. So this shebang specifies the Python interpreter that uh, this uh, Python script is going to use. So this uh, Python script is going to make use of Python 3.7 interpreter. Now the, uh, the essence of this is that eventually when we convert our Python script to an executable, uh, uh, executable file, so uh, the computer knows which version of Python to make use of around the script. Uh, because when we go to terminal, if we want to run our Python script, eventually when we, after finish creating this uh, Python script, we we'll want to run it on our terminal, we have to specify the Python version. We write Python and then we write the name of the file that we are going to run using Python. So uh, so uh, the computer knows the Python version, whether it is Python 2 or Python 3 that it's going to use to run our program. So how about when we convert this into an executable? All right. So when we convert this into executable, we don't need to. We don't necessarily need to specify the uh, Python. We don't need to write Python, then write the name of the Python file. We can just uh, put a dot and then uh, forward slash and then uh, invoke the script and then the script will run. So at the process of running, it will check the shebang to know which type of which type of interpreter is it going to use to run that our uh, uh, Python script. So that is the essence of using of, of writing this shebang. 
All right, the next thing we do, we import our modules. We are going to import uh, pi, uh, pandas. All right, import pandas as PD. All right, so this line today, I'm importing pandas, which is the library that powerful, a very powerful library that is used in data analysis. We are going to make use of this pandas to learn how to analyze our data with pandas. All right, and then uh, we we write an alias for it as PD. So whenever we want to make use of pandas, instead of uh, writing the full name pandas, we are just going to write PD. So that is the essence of writing as PD. Import pan pandas as PD. So any place in this our Python script that we need to write pandas, we just write PD. Next, we import matplotlib. Uh, Mat plot lip. All right, p plot as plt. All right. So here we are importing a a module called pipe plot, and this pipe plot is from the uh, uh, visualization library. It is a this uh, mat plot lip is a visualization library used in visualizing our analyzed data. So this pipe plot is a module that we are going to use to plot our data, to create a graph out of our data, all right? And there's this pipe plot, that module that we are going to use to plot our data is in this visualization library called matplotlib. And then we are going to reference it in our Python script as PLT. So import matplotlib, a visualization library, and then from that visualization library, we are importing this module pipe plot. And then we are going to use it in our script. We are going to reference it in our script as PLT. Okay, next from matplotlib, import style. Okay, so uh, next, uh, this line five, we are importing style. Uh, style is another module from this uh, matplotlib. Okay, so we are going to make use of this style to specify the style of the uh, graph that we are plotting. All right, so this style, basically, we use it to specify the type, the style, that there are, there are several types of styles. So we are going to make use of this uh, module style to specify the style of the graph that we are going to float. All right, style, going to use All right, so line number seven, we are invoking a function. Uh, we are invoking a function called use from this module style. And then we pass this 5.8 as argument to this function use. So basically what we are doing, we are trying to make use of this style. It is a style called 5.8, which is a style used by this uh, website, 5.8. So this is a website called 538, uh, a data analysis uh, website that perform uh, that uh, analyze data. And then the style of the graph they use is called 538. So here we are telling our, 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 yes, we are specifying our Python script that we are going to use this 538 type of style. So we invoke our function use from module style, and then we pass as argument, 538. So basically, we are using 538 type of style, which is the type of style used by that website, 538. Uh, web start. Web uh, start. All right, web start. Because the, uh, the All right, one, all right, sorry, I have problem with my keyboard. I'm going to make it on the screen, on, on the screen keyboard. I'm having problem with uh, comma, the, the, uh, the, the specify comma, I have to make it on the on screen keyboard. So 
sorry for the inconvenience all right all right all right all right, all right. yeah so and this copy is this so uh all right Three, four, five, six. Okay. So. Three, thirty four, sixty five, fifty six, twenty nine, seventy six. It sixty five, forty five, fifty two. All right, this is my uh, last something. All right, so let me, yeah, close the. All right, so basically, what I'm doing, uh, line number nine, I'm creating a dictionary. Uh, a dictionary come into format with a key uh, value here so we have the key d and then the value is a is a list that has the element one two three four five six and then we have another key visitors with uh with a value which is also a list comprising of this element for the 43 34 65 56 29 76 and then we have another key uh, bounce rate it is value uh, with the value uh, with the value as well 65 65 67 78 65 45 52 so basically what we are i'm creating a data now which i'm going to load into a data frame okay and a data frame is a class within this uh model pender that we are going to use to manipulate our data all right so basically what we do we create a data a data which we load into this data frame and then we can use with the use of this data frame we can manipulate we can perform various type of manipulation on our on our data in order to analyze it so that is basically how uh, pandas work so here i'm in line number nine i'm creating that particular data and it's not any type of data that uh, fits in usually the type of data fit in is the data that can be expressed in the form of rows and columns like is like a dictionary like a csv file like a data in a csv file which is basically excel that fit uh in such a way that the values fit into rows and columns so we can see here with this data can fit into uh three columns the visitors bounce rate something like that all right and then we have the corresponding values under the day we have these values one two three four five six which could form uh six rows all right and also the number of the uh the the number of the rows and the columns shall fit in like in d we have uh, six elements so in visitors we should oh, we should also have uh six elements uh else if you don't have that when we, if you run it we are going to have an arrow all right so we have this now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to uh load this uh into a data frame df pd data frame web start all right so uh, as, as, as i have said earlier the line number 13 
I am invoking this uh, class data frame, which is from module Panda, which we are referencing here as PD. And then I am passing this web start, which is our dictionary uh, that uh, that houses our our data that we want to analyze. And then I am passing it as argument to this uh, class to initialize the class. So basically what I'm doing is that I am loading my my data into the data for so that I can perform manipulation on it. And then I am assigning it to this variable df. Uh, usually by convention whenever we uh, load our data into a data frame usually make use of this df but you can use make use of you are free to make use of any variable name that you wish all right next i'm going to set the index def to set uh, index index So in line number 16, I'm setting the index. I uh, usually when we have something, uh, a we have a you know, we have a data. Usually, if we have something like date, it should, we should make use of that date as the index of our of our of our data on the in the data frame. All right, in the data frame, we should have something something like date. We should use it as our as our index. Do there is default index, but usually it's good practice to specify one of the columns will have to uh, be used as the index. So here I'm specifying D to serve as the index. So this line number sixteen will also be alternatively alternatively written as uh we can also uh, express it as df equals to uh, df dot uh, set index set index. And then uh, we pass on uh, D. So this is another way of writing this line number 16. All right. So the next thing, I'll just print my, uh, my data frame. So print uh, DF. So, all right. So uh, then I might also want to plot it. So df dot plot. So uh, I can float from my data frame uh, because uh, uh, the matplotlib and the data frame they have a some some kind of a relationship in such a way that I can even float straight from my data frame. As I did in line number 21, I just invoke function float, which is a function within this, uh, uh, yes, which is a function within my data, uh, my data, my data frame class. Okay, so we have this float function, which is within my data frame class to plot my, to plot a graph of my data frame. All right, so a bit alternatively, I can also. Uh, do something like this. I can invoke it from the uh, from the matplotlib dot plot. So I can say plt uh, dot plot uh, df. So line number twenty and number twenty one will do the same thing. So I can either plot using my matplotlib dot plot, or I can invoke uh, or I can invoke function plot from class data frame. All right. Now the next thing after creating the plot. I need to show it, so I'll just invoke a uh, function show from uh, from uh, yes from module uh, pyplot. So plt dot show, and then finally I will just uh, to show the graph that I have uh, plotted in line number twenty one. All right, so let me save it. I'll just control S to save, and now I'll go to my terminal and then try to run this. Uh, uh, function to see how it uh, to, uh, to run this uh, my my uh, my script to see how it works. All right, so cd. Let me go back. Uh, we create the project as test. All right, so Python three, Python three. 
all right then uh basics that's py all right so i'll just press enter i'm gonna run my script to see whether it has it will run successfully there's not any error excellent my uh my script has run successfully without any error I uh, have my data frame printed here. We can see the ND, which we have, we have set as the index. We can see it's not in the same line with these columns. These are the two columns we have visitor sponsored. And then we have the D that we have set as the index. And then finally, we have our plotted graph here, which we use, make use of Matplotlib to plot our graph. So basically, this uh, is a basic introduction to uh, the basics of uh, Panda. And in the next tutorial, we are going to see how we can make use of this uh, uh, panda to manipulate our uh, data. So thank you very much. I hope you, uh, uh, you subscribe to this uh, my YouTube channel, Phoenix Academy. And please, if you like this video, please click on the like button. So thank you. Until we meet again.